welcome to another video uh, just did a quick video um, uh, today oh a couple of weeks ago uh, a pal of mine uh, came up to the house uh, 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 Brian uh, M0 NSI and uh, he was talking about the QRM, QR, QRM eliminator and uh, he's having problems uh, tuning it and it, he actually took it out of line um, so today I'm just going to show you how to tune a QR, QRM eliminator and I've had people asking me as well um, so this is just a tuning video right as you can see this is my worst band 17 meters uh, just put the volume up we've got S9 and noise and this is the way I tune the QRM eliminator I think it's uh, a lot easier so we'll just take it let's take everything to nothing um, I'm going to leave uh, gain 1 as you can see here I'm going to leave that on 10 and I'll show you why in a moment right um, we don't need I was going to do the noise thing then, but so right what we're going to do now uh, if you look at the S meter um, it's it's S9 and noise so let's see if we can get it down by, by normal well this is going great guns S3 let's try the next one too far so we go back s2 then what i do if you if you have problems tuning uh, the qm eliminator what i do on game one I, I, I turn the game one down see how it's going out of phase now um because uh, as i was telling brian people think this is um you're actually um attenuating the signal you're not you're just tuning it I, I, all three buttons here are, are phasing the antennas into into line so so yeah so it's 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 still at 10 so it's just a case of messing about now again it up and down they're very very finicky so don't lose heart with it okay. hang on the uh two meters is jumping into life so s2 let's do this a bit a minute there you go there we go, S0, I, I took that back up to 9, so there you go, there's zero noise uh, on the band, let's see what we can hear on the actual radio, so all you do then, you put your noise reduction on, whoops, not quick enough, So you could take it out as such, or you can use uh, on, on the. Uh, I'll just leave that on. Uh, you've got a VC tuner as well on on the the 101, so you could take the bit of static noise out with the VC tune if if you want to. So let's see if there's anyone about on the band. Now. Obviously, could hear I could work that guy. Let's turn it off. I can hear the voice in the background. Turn the volume up. Yeah, but you're struggling there. Let's turn turn it back on again. Bit of VC tune. Now you can actually use an attenuator. I'll turn this down a second. You can use it attenuator. You can use um, um, the RF gain, but you don't really need it with uh, the QRM eliminator. You're just getting rid of the noise uh, on normal working of the radio. Say I don't know. Say it was on 40 meters and there's some uh, QR Nancy. Uh, there's atmospheric noise. You can use your, QR, uh, your, your RF gain uh, and your attenuator. Um, and obviously your digital noise reduction but uh, yeah uh, it's a different kettle of fish when you're using a QRM eliminator um, a lot of people make the comments of uh, all that expensive equipment and um, you, you're messing about with a, a cheap piece of kit but you're actually phasing two antennas together to get rid of the noise and uh, it's being possible to get out I can, I can get the noise out uh, with a VC tune and noise reduction but not, not to this level I think they're making promise 
Let's turn that PC tune off. Now we're getting an S reading. Uh, we're getting a, hang on, turn that down. We're getting an S reading there, but you don't really need it. So, for ease of use, I'd put the VC tune on. And there we go. Let's have, let's have a mess with the width. Two fives perfect for the human hearing. Let's see what it sounds like. You can even use notch and contour as well. Yeah, we're only ba barely hearing the guy in the background, aren't we? Let's turn that off, see. No, it's unreadable. BC tune back on. No. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's doing a long go over now. Yeah, you just have to bear with me for a minute. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're a fantastic piece of kit. Um, uh, like I said, Brian came round. Uh, he had a quick cup of tea and he had some beans and toast with me, me and my wife. Um, a, couple, a couple of weeks ago now on a Monday. I'll turn that down a second. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I just showed him how to um, um, tune it. But I always leave this at 10. Because you are tuning it, and people think you're attenuated or not, you're not. You're phasing all these together, and it's so finicky. You got to be very, very patient. And if you're not, if you're not seeing a dip on the needle, like your plate and loading uh, on a linear or, or an old valve radio, uh, your plate and load on these two, but well, you're phasing them. You're phasing gain two, and I turn this down. And then you can you can tweak these two, and then I end up turning this back up, tweaking them both again. Turn it back up until, until I get the desired thing. And as, you, as I said, it's uh, S, S1 of signals. But uh, yeah, this guy's not talking again, is he? So yeah, I don't want to go over... Uh, I don't want to go too long on the video. It's just... Uh, no, there's, I can't... Well, there's a few signals, but... I want this guy to come back if, if possible. Yeah, half an hour over. Right, let's turn the QM eliminator off. See, you can't, you can't hear that guy. And because we've moved frequency a little bit, it's actually gone off tune, their QM eliminator. Anyhow, that's that's the example. Let's turn this let's turn this down here. As I said, it's very finicky. I changed a few things. I got a big amp now. I got a big boy amp and. Yeah, I messed it up now. Come on. Yeah, I messed it right up. Let's see, that's good enough. There's another signal. BC tune off. See, so you could just about hear him in the background. Anyway, turn this down now, turn that back on. So, um, there's a little uh, example how to tune a QRM, QRM eliminator. Uh, and like I said, um, I used to have this on 10. Uh, I'll see people put these at 12 o'clock. Any starting position will do. But uh, 
yeah you, you could do it at 12 o'clock and and go from there but what I do I have this on 10 and I tune on these and then if I can't tune it I back it off I back this off and then I start tuning and what I do I, I nudge it back up the gain one back up um, and I start tuning again so there you go uh, S1 and that's that's just guesstimating where it is so I turn this back up now so we're up to S3 go back to the first one see what I mean it's very very sensitive see how it's dipping so that's what I'm saying I usually back this off a little bit I like I get the dip missed it Oh, see how it's just going down. Put that up again. Let's see if we can get the dip again. Go back on this one. There we go. Zero. It's very, very finicky. You just got to put with it, guys. Um, it's... Uh, it's just a piece of kit that you you need to mess with a lot um, but if you've got QRM um, you uh, need it but uh, other than that what you said about your day there we have the exact same turn it off turn it on absolutely beautiful we get the sunrise I think that's a good example okay I'm going to send 73 for now I hope you like the video and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. GZL DTS. Bye for now.